Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are in the Dance Conservatory in Berno. They invited me to come here to talk about auditions and everything that you need to know about auditions. So I want to say thank you so much to the Dance Conservatory in Berno and to the Parents Association for making this happen. And I will be showing you a little bit of what is inside of uh, this talk. And I'm really excited to meet the students and to go through everything that they need to know about auditions. So just let's go. to have the chance to share with you a little bit about my journey and about auditions. This is the main topic that we are going to be talking today. What I want to start with is a little bit of my story and how I got in a professional ballet company. So, as you guys, I studied in a conservatory, in a dance conservatory in Madrid, in Spain. I did my six years and then when I ended, I didn't get a job. That was a big crash for me because it was many years of work and I didn't understand why it was so difficult for me to find a job. I stayed for one more year in Spain and at the end of that year I also didn't get a job. I was, I was hopeless. I didn't know what to do. So I, I really understand what's your situation. Maybe not now, maybe in some years. This is normal. It happens to everyone. We all feel this way. Here's the worst mistake the dancers do and is that they don't prepare for the audition in the sense of they never did a, a class without the warm-up clothes. They didn't try the leotard they are wearing before going to the audition and then suddenly they don't like how they look like. They are used to see themselves in the good mirror in class and then you go to the audition and the mirror is not very good and you suddenly lose it mentally. This happens, it happened to me, believe me. So. What I, why do I recommend with this? Prepare for the audition, meaning do the class at least for one week before exactly how you will do it when you go to audition. It makes a huge difference, okay? You will go there and you will feel suddenly confident in yourself because you have been doing it for the whole week. It's just one more time. Make your life easy. Don't, don't, don't wait the expectation like what is going to happen, no. Prepare for what is going to happen and then you will be confident and it will be easy, easy to do it. Yes? Do the class in the leotard with the shoes that you're going to wear, put the hair on, put the makeup on, do the whole thing, the whole ritual. Do the same warm up, the same mental preparation. These, these things make a sense and, and they make a difference. I have seen way too many dancers go to the audition and they look so scared and so unconfident and then there is one dancer that doesn't look as scared and they get a job. What do you think is the most important thing they look for when you are doing the class? It's normal you don't know the answer. I just want to test. Learn fast the combination. Look confident. Don't be scared to fall. Three things. If you are scared to fall, you will hold back. And then all the things that you were doing so great before, suddenly they don't work. Confidence is what we were talking before. Learn fast the choreography because this is what they're looking for. That's why you need to train before, you know? And if you are doing the same class, for example, in the conservatory, go home, search on YouTube, ballet class, and you try to learn the combination faster and faster and faster and faster. Because then you will go there and you will be the fastest. First group, center, all the time, confident. As opposed to last group in the corner, looking to everyone. It's a huge difference. And you can have the feet like this. You don't know the choreography, difficult. I want to give you an invitation to share your journey. I have my social media. I share my journey on Instagram and on YouTube. And I decided to do that because I thought that people need that, that the world needs that that the more we share, the more we learn. That the more we share our lives, the easier it becomes for others to join that life. I think ballet is so uh, hidden sometimes. We don't know what is behind. We don't know about this. We only know what people want us to know. 
But I believe that doing these things, that sharing the journey, your journey, can help others. Even if it's just showing what's your routine every day, or how you do the makeup, or what's the Leo that I'm wearing today, those things help. And the more we open the ballet, the better we'll be. It comes with bad things as well, of course. But I think that the, the price is worth it. So I don't say become YouTuber. I don't say that. But if you would feel like, share with the others. Go to your friends and ask, how do you do this? Where did you buy that leotard? How can I do my makeup better? Did you send to this audition? Can I see your CV? Share with everyone. Believe me, the better everyone gets around you, the better you will be. And so that was it. That, that was unbelievable to be in the conservatory with the students and talk about the auditions and some of the other questions they had. I, I just feel blessed that we can do this. This is the reason why I do all of these videos for you guys on, on YouTube. And we, I wanted to close the video here in front of the Magenovo di Battle, the theater Magenovo in, in, in Berno. And I'm just happy. Uh, I have so much energy. I feel so nervous right after talking with all these students. And I just thank you all so much for the support and for watching my videos and for giving me the chance to do what I love and to share it with all of you. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one.